Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Broadcasting Network, 1050 AM, following broadcast in 102.3 FM and 106.5 FM. We are serving the world one household at a time. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect, and Kimiator Peak Performance Coaching. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. We are here in the city of Redlands. Very exciting today. I have an amazing guest, and uh, she is so awesome. I met her at one of our uh, investment events uh, in San Diego, and she sat right next to me and gave me a smile, and we just started talking. So I'm so happy that I have her here today. Her name is Kia Morrison. Kia, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Now, Kia, um, you are a real estate broker yes. uh, in San Diego, yes. and uh, you've been a real estate broker for a total of nine years. Is that right? I've been in real estate for nine years, and I've been a broker for five years. Okay, I see. And you also originally from New York. I am, yes. Okay. And I still have an office in New York where I have agents there. So, um, yep, I have an office here in San Diego and one in uh, New York. Okay. Well, our topic today, Kia, is about how we can make it fun mm -hmm. and also become successful in your business. And I see that you are very successful in running your real estate because you. obviously you have a lot of agents underneath you and you are uh, you have an office in New York and mm -hmm. also in San Diego. Yep. Now, how? why is real estate, uh, first of all, why is real estate for you? Why real estate? Okay. So... Okay, it, the answer, I don't know. Okay, so this is the answer. It's just the honest answer, right? So my husband and I, we bought like multiple properties before I became a real estate agent. And we just didn't have a great experience mm -hmm. um, purchasing um, our properties. And I was at a point where I was looking to make a career change. And so I thought, I could do this. I could sell real estate and I could do a better job and give better service than what we had received. So that's why real estate, so that I could learn and then give people better service than we received. What did you do before real estate? I was a family therapist. Family therapist? Mm -hmm. Now, do yeah. you still do that? I do not. You do not? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> you do not miss it? or <laughs> do, There's parts of it that I do miss. Um... I love working with people, so I get that in real estate, right? So I get mm -hmm. that part. Um, so I, I'm good for right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are parts of it that I really, truly loved and enjoyed. I love helping families. I loved um, seeing uh, families have growth. But when there's family conflict, it's also very sad and depressing. And so that part I don't miss. Okay, yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, so why don't you share with us some of your memorable uh, moments in real estate? So for me, my biggest memorable moment was when I started acting like a broker. I had been a broker, and I wasn't actually acting like a broker. So I didn't have agents underneath me. I didn't have my own office. I was still working, you know, for other companies. And so... Um, I opened my office in New York first. So I was here in San Diego, and I opened my office in New York first, reason being because I was just comfortable there, comfortable with how everything was in New York, the procedures, the processes. I'm like, okay, if I'm going to do this, if I'm, if I'm going to really be a broker, um, then I need to be comfortable with doing it. So I opened my office in New York, and that was super memorable for me. I got my first agent. I love her. She's still with me. Um, wow. Yeah. And she's amazing because she's been in the business for like 18 years. So longer than me. So I could also wow. rely on her and lean on her for, you know, um, to help the other agents in the New York office. So. That is awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you enjoy working with people in I the do. real estate. I do. Okay. I enjoy working with people in general. Like that's just my my happy place. I'm not the type of person who could sit in an office all day and not work with anyone like that would not be my happy place at all. So. 
Yeah, I okay. love working with people. So how do you make it so successful and have fun? Because I know real estate is a hard business. It is a hard business. And it's not always fun. <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> I can attest to that. I know, I know, you know, because you, you had more agents than I have. Um, but I hope to get to where you were at some point. But um, it's not always fun. But the thing is, I always bring myself back to remembering it's about serving people. Right. So I serve my agents. I serve my clients. And as long as I can bring myself back to that place, it's about service because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Then um, I can get back into a good place. I see. Well, I was able to meet some of your agents mm -hmm. when we did our filming, because yeah. uh, for all of you out there, Kia is actually participating in our uh, a project. Uh, which is a, uh, <laughs> a new project for the finest women in real estate. Yes. And I'm so excited because she is amazing. Her personality is just incredible. Thank I mean, you, you know, coming, I, you know, some people say when you're from New York, you have this attitude or, you know, that is just not, you know, uh, you know, people just have trouble with it. But yeah, I mean, you're from New York, but I love you. I, I love know. the way you <laughs> communicate and your personality. So tell me, what, what is it about that? Not all New Yorkers are bad. That's, <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. This is what I always say. So New Yorkers, you, it takes a lot to live in New York. Like it's a hustle and bustle city. So you have to be super laser focused. Mm -hmm. And so that's what happens. People there are laser focused. They have places to go, things to do. And so it's, that's, that's what their mind is on. It's not on being friendly. Here in San Diego, I love San Diego, but we have the sun all the time, and we're happy, and we're warm all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not rushing to necessarily get to places and everything. But, you know, New York is just, like, laser-focused. We got we to gotta get this done. We got to rush. It's cold, you know, all of that. So... It's not that they're unfriendly. It's just that they're they're busy. That's what I'll call it. They're busy. I see. Well, you know, I think Californians, too, are very focused. Yes, and busy because, as well. I don't yeah. mean to say anything negative well, because I love California. I came from Albuquerque, <laughs> New Mexico. It's pretty uh -huh. laid back there. So when I moved to California, I realized it was just totally different vibe. I mean, yeah. what is going on here? And, yeah. and so it's, a, it's very focused, concentrated uh -huh. on the business. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's straight to the point. Yeah. So that's, that's what I see. But Okay. But I think, you know, uh, when I met you, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get that, you know, uh, assumptions of how are New Yorkers, but it's, it's, I couldn't pick it up. I know. <laughs> There's nothing I, I, can, know. I can see. Everybody says that to me. And then also, I don't have a New York accent either, so there's that too. So everyone says that to me. They're like, you don't act like you're from New York. But I, I actually do act like I'm from yeah. New York, so... I don't know. I'm just friendly. Mm -hmm. And and most of the New Yorkers I know are super friendly as well. Like I said, people are just busy. So when they're walking down the street, they're just busy, focused, cold. So they're just trying to get some Yeah, when you're cold, it's not that. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But once you become friends with a New Yorker, it's like this, right? Yeah. So for me, I mean, New Yorkers are so genuine. We're direct and, and straightforward, right? But we are genuine people. So you you get you what you see is what you get, okay. basically. Well yeah. that's good. I like I like that. Yeah. Very transparent. And mm -hmm. you don't have to guess, you know, no. or uh, you know, try to figure out you know, how to communicate with them. But yeah. I met your agents and uh -huh. they are amazing. They are. And they loved you. Aww. They really love you and I and was I love them. Yeah, yeah, I see that. It's like how you communicate with them are just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. When we did that filming, you were actually just had all this energy. It's a different kind of environment that you yeah. put together with yeah. your agents in mm -hmm. there. So I can see why they were so into your business. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what was the first thing that you wanted to do is ha have them speak about uh, something what was that first part of your meeting so video so I try to be really focused on videos because mm -hmm. I just feel that's the way that the world is going right mm -hmm. um you know due to COVID and you know zoom and so it's nice to be able to be comfortable in front of video mm -hmm. so this way we can send our uh, clients video text messages as opposed to just a regular text message it just brings another level of um, communication another level of life basically okay yeah. Um, so I'm trying to get them all like really focused on doing videos as much as possible. Videos on social media, videos on, um, you know, text messaging, videos, email, all of it. So, yeah. I see. Well, one, one thing I wanted to talk to you about being a woman mm -hmm. uh, and running a brokerage. Mm -hmm. I know it's not easy. 
because you know I've been there. Yeah, I know how hard it is to run a brokerage. Uh huh. But at the same time, how do you make it to where you know when when everything else is you know they are having a hard time because of the COVID situation. Uh -huh. What do you think about that when someone loses their job and mm -hmm. you are here with your very successful business? Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you say to them? Mm. Well, I always say persist. No matter what, no matter what situation you're in, it gets better. It always gets better. So all you have to do is persist. The only time it doesn't get better is if you give up. So it's like, just don't give up. Just mm -hmm. keep pushing, keep trying. You know, something will give. And sometimes you have to pivot, right? So um, maybe you lost your job and you're not able to go back to that field for whatever reason, then you pivot. And it's, a, it's an opportunity to do something new and different and better. So persistence and um, just, yeah, just keep going. Persistence. I actually like that. I, I really like that. I, I believe in that concept too. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like, you know, I came from the healthcare industry for 15 years. And when I left that, I ended up going into real estate. Mm -hmm. it, I feel like it opened up a different world for me. Yeah. And it, I discovered a lot of things about myself, mm -hmm. you know, talents that I didn't even know I'm good at. Yeah. So I think when people are experiencing this kind of changes where, mm -hmm. you know, you uh, were let go or, you know, for some reason you, you lost your job, there's always another way yeah. where you can discover how you could be very good at something. Exactly. And then realize, wow, yeah. that was a gift. Yes. Isn't it? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like if more people thought that way, then people would be happier. It's like people look at um, certain situations and then they start to feel depressed about it. But if you just like change your perspective mm -hmm. and think of it in a more positive way, like it's a gift, it's an opportunity to do something different with your life people would be so much happier. <laughs> now, if, if someone is just really do not know what to do, what would be the first step that you can advise them in order to open up those doors? I would say, look at your gifts. What are your gifts? What do you enjoy doing, right? So you have to look at the things that you like to do in life. You have to look at your gifts. So always looking um, at positive aspects of life. And I think if you do that, then you can discover what your next step is. Wow, that is awesome. And Kia, I mean, I know that you are, you're, you're also a mother, right? I am. Now, how do you, <laughs> uh, what do, you, do you have a daughter or what is it? I have a son who, I know I look young. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. I you're do. amazing. But I am not young. I am not young. And so he is, he's an adult. He's in New York. He's 23. He's in New York. Hopefully he's watching. <laughs> 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 yes, um, and I love him. And, you know, he's amazing. Yep. <laughs> well, I have a son, too. He's, uh, it's funny. Uh, he is uh, turning 21. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we wish that our son will watch us. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to ask him. I'm going to I'm gonna quiz him to see if he watched. <laughs> okay. Well, so what, what is he doing in New York? Um, he works for the city. Okay. Yeah. So um, he, oh, gosh. I don't want him to kill me. He went the college route. He decided that wasn't for him. Mm -hmm. So he left college. He went through, a, you know, a few different jobs. And then he finally got this job. And he actually really loves it a lot. So he works for the city, the Parks and Recreation Department. And he's just living his best life, basically. He, you know, he just, he's... He is such a country boy, my son. He is not a New York City boy at all. He is 100% a country boy. He has his, his pickup truck. He has his, his wolf dog. He loves to go fishing. Like, <laughs> he is like 100% well, a country boy. Well, he's living his fabulous he lifestyle. Is. He is. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah, he really is. Yes. Well, um, I wanted to um, take this time to take a break and uh, acknowledge our uh, sponsors. But we will be right back, Kia, and then we'll talk more about real estate. Yes. We are live on KCAA Broadcasting Network, 1050 AM, following broadcast in 102.3 FM and 106.5 FM. We are serving over 5 million households in the Inland Empire, North County, San Diego, Orange County, and San Gabriel Valley. We are serving the world one household at a time. We are also in iHeart, Spotify, Tiki Live, Ustream, Apple, iTunes, and anywhere with your favorite podcast. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC 
NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect, and Kim Yater Peak Performance Coaching.